Hello everyone. You are welcome. Here today we would like to talk a basic topic called friction. Here we are basically interested to know what is a friction is. As you are seeing it on the screen, friction is nothing but a force which opposes the relative motion. Which opposes the relative motion. Be careful and be clear in understanding that it is not opposing the motion, rather it is opposing the relative motion. That means if one body is moving over the other body, it actually opposes the relative motion. You can also see that whenever one body is in contact with the other body, between them there will be a kind of a frictional force. Then why it is coming? The logic is simple. Every body who appears like a smooth surface is not actually smooth. If you see it under a powerful microscope, you can see a lot of irregularities. So when you keep one body over the other body, like what I am going to draw just now, let us imagine this is one body. This is one body. And on the surface of this body, let us imagine that you have kept another body. So for a normal eye, it looks like this. But if you see it under a powerful microscope, the body is not actually as smooth like as it is seen. The lower body may appear like this under a powerful microscope and the upper body may appear like this under a powerful microscope. And you could be definitely seeing in the second diagram that the irregular surfaces are coming into contact and somewhere they are getting interlocked. Where do they get interlocked? It simply depends on how is that surface is. So at a particular point you can see definitely that there is an interlocking. This interlocking opposes the relative motion because one body got interlocked with the other body. If you want to move the body you have to break that interlocking. That's why there is a friction generated. So we can simply say friction exists between every two bodies because no body is actually perfectly smooth. Every body has rough, rough surfaces and that rough irregular surfaces get interlocked when you keep one body over the other body which is opposing the relative motion. If these bodies are in the state of rest, there will be a better interlocking between the body surfaces, irregular surfaces because there is a lot of time for the body surfaces to get interlocked and this kind of the friction that exists between the two bodies that are in the state of rest is called static friction. If the bodies are in the state of motion, the friction between them is called as dynamic friction or kinetic friction. But uh, it might be clear to you by this time that uh, as the bodies are in the state of motion or at least the one body is in the state of motion, there is no enough time for the interlocking of one surface over the other surface. Therefore, there will be less friction. I mean to say that the kinetic friction is little bit lesser than that of the static friction. We can further say when one body is rolling over the other body, the probability of interlocking will be much better, much lesser. Therefore, the friction will be also less. So, to sum up, there are three kinds of frictions. Static friction exists between the two bodies in the state of rest. Kinetic friction exists between two bodies when one body at least is in the state of motion. Rolling friction when one body is rolling over the other body. Among all the frictions, static friction is the highest, rolling friction is the lowest friction. Okay, let us continue the discussion. Here we would like to know whatever may be the friction, whether it is a static or kinetic or rolling friction, on what factors it depends. It is experimentally observed that the frictional force is directly proportional to normal reaction. Then we need to know what do you mean by the normal reaction is, the name itself tells you it is a reaction and it is normal to the surface of the contact. It is simply based on Newton third law which tells you that for every action there is equal and the opposite reaction. Let us imagine there is a surface on which you have kept a body. Its mass is equal to m. Then because of the gravitation the weight of the body acts in the downward direction. 
this is actually the force applied by the body on the surface this acts like a action now reaction comes into the picture the surface applies the same force of equal magnitude but opposite in the direction and as it is acting normal to the surface of the contact we can call this reaction as a normal reaction so it is very clear that in this case normal reaction is equal to the weight of the body itself but there is no rule that every time this normal reaction has to be equal to the weight of the body itself let us consider one example let us imagine a inclined surface having an inclination theta with the horizontal let us imagine a body of mass m on the surface then you know the weight acts in a perpendicularly downward direction it is not definitely normal to the surface of the contact where the bodies are in a contact so i want to know how much it is there normally so we can resolve this mg being a vector into components this value also will become theta being an adjacent component it will become mg cos theta automatically other component will become mg sin theta we'll be learning about this kind of resolution while we are talking about the vectors so it is very clearly noticed from the diagram that mg cos theta is the force applied by the upper body on the lower body normal to the surface which acts like a action now the surface reacts by applying the same force in the opposite direction and we can call this like a normal reaction therefore in this case normal reaction is equal to in this case normal reaction is equal to mg cos theta therefore normal reaction is simply reaction applied by the lower surface on the upper surface and it shall be equal to the normal to the surface of the contact once if you know some basic idea about the normal reaction then we can say friction is directly proportional to normal reaction now we can eliminate the proportionality by using a constant called coefficient of friction and be careful to know that mu is of course called as coefficient of uh, friction but it is not a dependent of either frictional force or normal reaction you double the normal reaction frictional force will be doubled but mu remains a constant mu doesn't depends on frictional force and normal reaction rather mu depends on the nature of the surface depends on the nature of the surface this mu is called as a coefficient of friction